linking Excel financials to the Word document. Word and Excel are part of the same Microsoft Office suite, making it easy to link data between the two programs. You can use the linking feature to import financial data from an Excel spreadsheet directly into the Word document, ensuring that the data is up to date and accurate. This is one common problem we find out find in day to day. I'll just open one Excel file and uh, let me save this Excel file. Let me just copy the path of this. Control C. This is case study number four, financial statements. Just as a sample, because the session may be taken by some other people also other than financial domain. That's the reason. Just try to understand a concept, financial statements. Now I have a table here, particulars, particulars, 2022 figure, and this is 2023 figure. As on 31st, let's, let's put in this way, a single quote, 31st March 2022. I can just keep the same thing here, 31st March 2023. This is a table, right? Now, what I'll be doing, this is a particular, so I can just put whatever I want, item one, item one, item two, and so on. Let me drag a little down. And here I have some random figures, random between some 10 to 100. Some random figures, don't worry. Copy paste special values. Now, this is a table, right? This schedule name is schedule number, schedule two. Two, this is related party transactions. Let's say, for example, I want to take this into the Word document. What I'm going to do, it's going to be very simple. I can just copy this, go to the Word document, open the Word document. For example, I am doing some financial statements and in the director's report is there, notice is there, then summary is there, then financial statements came in the balance sheet, I should get it. PNL, I should get it. Now what I'll be doing as an example, I want to get the schedule. Okay, anyway, this is a schedule number two, I'll take it right. So this two is not required, right? Yes. Copy this. Let me go to the Word document. Normally, we do Control V. But the problem with the Control V is this paste like a table. How do you know this is a table? On the top, you have a table design, table layout, table design, table layout. So if I go back to my Excel file, change this to 99, will it change here automatically? No, because till that point of time, whatever you copy pasted, that pasted here. So I don't want this just doing control plus V. Now let me put it here. This is the one what I have done, you know, control plus V. Just go here, control plus V. It is simple paste. Now what I wanted to do, instead of doing control plus V, let me just double click this. I want to go to paste special, as you all know, how in the Microsoft Excel we have a paste special functionality, even in the Word document we have a paste special functionality. Copy this. Once you copy paste got enabled here, just go to paste special. Otherwise, you can use a shortcut Alt E Yes. In that, this, this is just the paste as is. It is just going to paste it as a object, as a format text. Let's check the object. This comes as an object. So this looks like an image, exactly whatever the content it's going to paste here. But unfortunately, when you're trying to change this figure, this will not change automatically because this just as an object we have pasted. Now let's go here. Paste. Now let me copy it again. Now let us try the option of copy. Now I'll just go here. Paste special. I don't want to take anything here because if you take any of the paste, it is just as an absolute figures, it's going to paste there. It is not having a link to the previous one from where we copied. There is an option called paste link. You can just go to the paste link, double click this object. The same thing what pasted earlier got pasted here. 
but this is having a link to the previous. How do you know that? If I go here, if I change this and give a border to this, let me give the border for this. Now go back to your Word document. Wow, the borders got updated. For example, I'm just going here and I'm changing my figures equal to random between. Now I'm just putting 10 to 100 different figures came. Don't worry, this got updated, right? So this is the way you can, this is the way you can change, you can link your financial statements, link Excel financial statements to Word document. Like that, you can start pasting. If I have the financial statements, if all the schedules are available in Excel, just copy, just go your pay special, then you select as a link, select as an object, one below other. But here the condition is very important. The originated file, wherever it is, from where you copy pasted, it should be into the same location. If you change it, it's going to show the error. And especially when you have this type of tables, Next time, whenever you open the Word document, now let me close this with by saving this. Let me close this by saving this. Now what I'll be doing, I'll open this fourth Word document. It is asking, this document contain links that may be referred to the other files. Do you want to update this document with the data from the linked files? Whenever you click yes, it is trying to search for the same path. If it is available, it's going to update. If you click no, nothing will happen. The data will be there as it is. It will not update. Okay, you can just go and check it out. If it is in the real path, you just right click. There is an option called update link. Just click update link. When you start clicking update link, now it is going back into the path, opening the file at the back end. It is taking the same copied area and updated here. Now if I otherwise, one more trick I can tell you here in this case study. For example, you open this. You know that this is having a link. If you want to open the source file, you are not sure where is the source file path. Very simple. Just double click this. It will open your source file and it will select the path, select the area what I copied, which got linked to here. Right? This is one of the very important uh, and I'm sure powerful functionality when it comes to the linking your Excel document to the Word document.